I'd, I'd like to take a minute to uh, briefly introduce myself to those who don't know me just yet. So if you don't know, if you don't know, Donc, si pas connaît, hi, my name is Walby. Non, pas Walby. And the reality is, Et a fait que, I have the privilege of being a part of arguably the best generation to ever exist. That's right. Oui, c'est vrai. You guessed it. Oui, ou ratel. I'm a millennial. Moi, c'est un millennium. Any millennials in the room? All right, all right. See, I say this because uh, we arguably have the best everything. We had we had the best stores. All right, I'm talking about Eckerd's. Albertsons. Albertsons. Radio Shack. Radio Shack. Yeah, no, that, Circuit City. Circuit City. <laughs> Blockbuster. Sorry. Blockbuster. Blockbuster. No, all right. Some of y'all too young for that. Praise God. Service merchandise. Oof. Yeah, that's real. But you're not a millennial. You yeah, I, I, I dated <laughs> myself. <laughs> but we didn't just have the best stores, sis. We also had some of the best movies. All right, I'm talking like Home Alone. All right, I'm talking about Lion King. Lion King. Uh, somebody said it came out before the millennial time. No, it didn't. The real one came out in the 90s. Glory to God. And the rest, y'all know the vibes. But we didn't just have the best stores, the best movies. But we also had, we also had some of the best music. And I'm not going to name them so y'all don't think I'm ratchet. The word, the word I could use, I don't want to. <laughs> you're going to put it, you're going to put it. Yeah, so, so you know, we're going to, yeah, that part. But one of the things that, you know, my guy, to this day, I can't seem to shake. I, outside of the movies. Outside of the music, outside of the stores that don't even exist anymore, one of the things that I can't seem to shake are the TV shows. television, yo, program television, yo. You big man. I'm talking like Martin. Martin. Right, I'm talking like Family Matters. Family Matters. Relax, you're ahead of me. <laughs> I'm talking about all those shows. But one of my favorite among all of them is what my brother just said. Which is the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. In fact, to be honest, I just started watching it again for the hundredth time. Let the church say amen. <laughs> Praise God. And the plot of the show is thoroughly explained in the theme song of the show. Now, now I promise you, if you help me out, you're not going to get in trouble right here. And it goes like this. Now this is a story. All about how. how my, my life. life got twisted, turned upside down. Sit right there and tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Y'all not gonna let her. <laughs> y'all not gonna let this non millennial show out like that. Nah. Y'all acting like y'all don't, y'all don't know it. Y'all know it. Right, he said, let's try it again. All right. In West Philadelphia. Born and raised on the playgrounds where I spent most of my days. Children relaxing out. Outside high school and a couple of guys who were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got a one little fight and my mom got scared. I said, if you want to get your and I'm going to All right, stop, stop, it. stop, stop. The rest of it, y'all don't know. <laughs> All right, praise God. The rest of it, y'all don't know. But we sing it because it feels good. But the reality is, this, this theme song is the, the plot of the entire show. 
et, et chantem ça, lui expliquer histoire tout programme. Et we see this plot exemplified during the first season especially. Et nous ouais que et histoire yo vraiment met en face sous lui dans première saison. Where Will spends majority of his time trying to settle into a lifestyle in the suburbs of Bel Air. Et côté Will il commence à essayer mettre tête lui dans style de vie ça dans Bel Air. And this was a lifestyle that Will is not used to. Et ça c'est un style que Will lui-même n'est pas habitué à faire. Parce que Will n'est pas sorti dans la zone ça. But Will is actually from the ghetto of West Philly. Will sorti dans le ghetto West Philly. And Will had to get used to a lifestyle that he was not used to. For Will to be besoin habitué avec un style, un mode de vie qu'il pas habitué. By wearing clothes that he was not used to wearing. Tant qu'il habillé avec rad, il pas habitué. Having a butler that uh, to respond to his beck and call. Il te gagné un serviteur qui te toujours à et répondre à n'importe besoin. Going to a private school. Aller dans une école privée. Driving luxury cars. Conduit machine luxe. And the list goes on. Et l'isla continue. However, cependant, I don't believe that these things were the toughest part of Will having to adjust. Moi pas quoi que bagay sa yo yo c'est yo même qui était plus difficile pour Will t'es capable ajuster. Now please don't debate me on this one. S'il vous plaît, pas faire débat avec moi sur ça. Because this is my opinion. Parce que c'est ça c'est my opinion, my opinion. Ça c'est opinion pas. Yeah. All right, I know how y'all can get about your little opinions. This is my bah, bah, ça, ça pas dit de de opinion pas nous. Praise God. For me, the toughest part of Will having to adjust. Pour moi même, ça plus difficile pour Will capable ajuster. Was actually his cousin Carl. C'est actuellement cousin là Carl. Because Carlton. Carlton. Yeah, because Carlton, uh, who unlike Will. Parce que Carlton qui pas tant que Will. Had no experiences outside of riches. Les pas n'ont aucune expérience en dehors de richesse. Carlton does not know what it's like to walk an inch in Will's shoes. Et Carlton pas connait qui gens pour être capable marcher dans place Will. However, especially in the first season. Mais cependant, spécialement dans première saison. He has the audacity. Il te gain audace to make it hard for Will to adjust. Pour être capable de faire plus difficile pour Will ajuster. With all of his judgments and slick remarks. Avec tout jugement lié avec Jean Tap dit bagay fréquent. And you know what I find interesting? Et au compte ça me déjoint. I find it interesting. I find it interesting that in life. Mais je ne suis intéressant que dans la vie. Usually the people who have the most to say about you. Normalement, moun qui gen plus bagay pour yo di de ou men yo. Are people who truly do not know what it's like to walk an inch in your shoes. C'est moun qui pa konnen rien de ki jan liye pou viv viv Paola. Yeah, let me give you some examples. Bon, bon, I'm talking about people who have never experienced grief. I'm talking about the, the grief that comes from losing a loved one. Trying to come to you to tell you that you can't cry. Or even trying to tell you how to cope with the loss of a loved one. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about it's usually the people who have never experienced the trauma of being hurt. Hurt by a husband or a wife. That usually judge you for feeling the way that you feel as a result. Or doing what you have to do to save your life. Ou bien ça que vous faites pour capable sauver la Because vie. Because in the reality, sometimes the conditions. Parce que en réalité, des fois, les conditions. Of those situations, literally get that bad. Non, situation, yo, yo, vraiment arrivé non, bad, yo, condition qui pas bon même. Alright, let me get a little practical. Some of y'all saying I'm too serious. Bon, moi, descend non, bad, qui plus pratique. It's usually the people. C'est normalement moun that have never sang a note in their lives. Qui pas jamais chanté en note dans vie. They have the most to say about the music ministry. Qui parler de de ministère musique là. Why they sing like that today? Pour que ça All right, you sing that. What you got? Ou même pour ou même chanter ou même. And it's usually the people who 
aren't privy to spiritual things. C'est normalement monde qui pas privilégié qui pas capable bagage spirituel. That even try to tell their pastor how to do his or her job. Qui essaye parler pasteur yo pour qui j'en pour faire travail pa yo. Look at your neighbor and say it's tight but it's right. Gardez yon moun et dil que li dit mais c'est vrai. I said I find it funny that those who usually have the most to say about how you walk are people who don't understand the pressure that comes from walking in your shoes. And it's here that I'd like to phase into my text tonight. Where, where Luke chapter 15 dans Luc chapitre 15 Luc chapitre 15 which is a series of Jesus telling parables about lost things Dans Luc chapitre 15 côté Jésus a bay parabole des bagages qui perdu Where in verses 1 through 7 Dans verset 1 à 7 Jesus is talking about a lost sheep Jésus a parlé de un mouton qui perdu Where in verses 8 to 10 Dans verset 8 à 10 Jesus is talking about a lost coin Je, Jésus a parlé de yon monnaie, yon pièce l'argent qui perdu. But in verse 11, mais dans verset 11, Jesus switches gears a little bit. Jésus change bagayyo. Because here he's not talking about an animal. Parce que Kounial va parler de yon animaux. Here he's not. Bête. Here he's not talking about a piece of money. Là, il va parler d'un pièce l'argent. But here he begins to tor- thoroughly tell a story. Mais Kounial il commence à parler yon histoire. De yon a parable of whom we now know as the prodigal son. Yon parabole de nous tout kounia kounia kone de l'enfant prodi. And this story Et nan sa, begins with a man li avek yon monsieur who has two sons. Ki gen de petit Somebody say two sons. Yon moun di de, de ti moun, de and, petit the, and the Bible says Et puis Bible a di, that the youngest son of the two one day tells his father to give him his share of the inheritance. Now please understand this that when a child is telling his parent to give them their piece of the inheritance that is the equivalent to you, and go, to you going to tell your parent you can just go die because the inheritance will not come to them even till this day until their parent passes away and if their, and if their parent did their due diligence you would then receive everything that your parent left for you so the son is literally telling his dad that his life meant nothing your life means nothing to me give me my share of the inheritance and to my surprise the father doesn't murmur the father does not complain the father does not challenge his son but the, f- but the father literally gives him over to his fleshly desires and he, and, he, and he gives him what he asks for I'd like to open up a parenthesis right here I'd like to open a parenthesis right here both this text and Romans 1 verse 28 that you can find whenever you go home. These texts give me the license to let you know that although God will fight tooth and nail to save us, that although God will knock on the hearts, the doors of our hearts, and plead with us to do the right thing, there comes a point in time where the Father who gave us free will Papa qui ba ou volonté a will literally give us up to our reprobate minds. Li ap littéralement ap kite nou avec pense dépravé nou yo. Which is a fancy way qui se yon ba yon yon façon sophistiqué of saying our foolish way of thinking. Pou kapab di jan na pense ki foolish. 
that. Foolish. Alright, y'all 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 understand. Foolish. Foolish. Say so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I want to drop this into your spirit. If I can. And I want to tell somebody who can hear the sound of my voice right here. That although God wants to save you. The only thing, the only person. Who can really stop him from doing so. It's not the pastor who hurt you. It's not the brother or sister that told you that you're not welcome here. But the only person who can stop him from saving you is you. It's you. They won't have to work. All right, that's fine. The father gives him up or over to his reprobate mind. And the father gives him his share of the inheritance. And the Bible says that not many days after this, the son gathered all he had. That he takes a journey into a far country. That he squandered or wasted his property in reckless living. And it's here that I'd like to ask a question. How many times does the father give us things? that we literally, literally squander daily in foolish living. Where the Father has given us gifts. And I'm not just talking about monetary gifts. But hear me in the Holy Ghost. And I want to pour into you right here, especially my creatives. Where the Father has given you the ability to write. Where the Father has given you the ability to sing. Where the Father has given you the ability to play. Le papa ben nous habilité pour nous jouer. And we squander them daily in foolish living. Et nous gaspiller nos gens à vivre de jour en jour. I say we because I'm included. Moi dis nous parce que moi même moi inclus. And I wanna drop this right here. Moi, je déposer ça là. I want to let you know that this son wasted everything in one season. Moi, je faire nous connait que petit garçon ça a été gaspillé toute bagaille dans une saison. Not knowing that a famine was coming. Il pas connait que une famine t'a venu. Which means that he would have needed everything that he wasted. Ça veut dire que t'a besoin toute bagaille que t'a gaspillé. In this season. Non, saison ça. In the next. Et dans l'autre là. Here it is. Mais il. Don't waste in this season. Pas gaspiller dans saison ça. What you're going to need in the next. Ça a besoin dans l'autre là. Because the truth is, Parce que a there's, fait que, there's a saying that I love. Qui dit où est jeudi? That says Do you see today, mais, mais on pas demain. But you don't know about tomorrow. Everything may be good right now. The season is agreeable for you right now. Saison agréable ou même jeudi. But the reality is what goes up. Mais réalité, réalité, c'est que ça touche, ça, ça monte. Must come down. Fall descend quand même. And you just never know what you're really gonna need in the next. Et ou pas jamais qu'on est sur un besoin après. He wastes his living. Il te gaspille sa dégaine. He wastes what the father gives him. Il gaspille sa papa te balia. In reckless living. In reckless living. Pour j'en l'ab, j'en t'ab vivre là. The son after this point was. Down bad, what you young kids would say. Now, kunya e petit garçon wan kunya te down bad. Li te vraiment en besses. Yeah, yeah. In fact, he was down so bad. Li te sel, li te te tellement en bas. That not not only did he persuade a farmer to hire him. 
Il n'est pas seulement persuadé un farmer, un cultivateur. Un cultivateur yeah. pour être capable et ballon côté pour habiter. Not only was he sent to the fields to feed pigs as a Jew. Il n'est pas seulement allé pour être capable by cochon manger comme un juif. But he was down so bad. Mais il était tellement à traîner. That eventually. Que éventuellement, this kid that comes from riches, petit garçon ça qui vient de sortir dans richesse, wanted to eat the food that he was feeding pigs. Il devait manger, manger que le tabac cochon yo. In fact, the English Standard Version of the Scriptures. Et en effet, et non, 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 non passage anglais, non version anglaise. Yeah, it says that he was longing to be fed. Li dit que li devle pou yo te man, bal manje With the pods that the pigs ate Avec manje ke manje, manje ke kochon yo te manje And the saddest part is the last part of this verse Sak pi de rislan se pati nan verset sa And no one gave him anything Et pati yon moun ki te bal yon kou yon bagay Or in other words they didn't even think he was worthy Sa be di yo pat men panse ke li te vo sa To eat pig food pour être capable de manger, manger cochon. Get this, as a prince. Comme un prince. Oh my God. And that, oh my God. And that's what sin does to us. Et c'est ça, péché fait nous. Sin will take us from the palace. Et péché a retiré nous dans le palais. Sin will cause us to go from uh, a plenty or something of a, a bount that we have a, a bountiful amount of. Péché a retiré nous dans un côté de abondance. And it'll drive us down a very dark road. Et il a traîné nous dans un chemin qui vraiment fait noir. Where people don't even think that we're worthy to eat the food of scavengers. Côté monde pas même croire que nous vaut pour nous même manger manger cochon. Where we don't even deserve. Nous pas même vaut to be fed. Nous pas mérité pour nous manger. Like pigs that eat trash. And I want to encourage somebody right here because I used to struggle with this too. I want, I want to let you know that even the people that you run away from God with know who you are. Let me, let me say it like this. Stop being upset at the fact that they don't invite you to the party. Stop being upset at the fact that they don't pass the joint to you when they smoke. Stop being upset at the fact that they offer everybody at the table shots but you. Because that's not something to be upset about. In fact, it's a compliment. Because it's a revelation. That even people who are in the same low condition as you know that you are not meant to be there. Oh so even if they call you church boy, even if they call you a church boy, or a church girl, when you're trying to do the trying to do the wrong thing, stop getting in your feelings. Because it's a compliment. Because it shows that even they who are in the same state as you, they know that you don't belong here. I really sense the Lord wanted me to, 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 to help pull somebody out right now. Hear me in the, hear me in the Holy Ghost. Where you are right now, you don't belong there. In that low state, you don't belong there. In that condition, you don't belong there. In fact, those feelings that you feel, the, the feelings of discomfort when you're there, are not by coincidence, but they're evidence of the fact that you just don't belong there. But 
But there comes a point in time where they don't have to tell him anymore with, uh, by uh, uh, disrespecting allegedly him. But the New Living Translation lets us know that there comes a point in time where he comes to his senses. Traduction dit que quand le que l'ivini li l'ivini ne retourne en bon sens li. Or in other words, he snaps out of it. Et en d'autres termes, il sortit dans sa dérive. Point number one. Point number one. Point numéro un. What precedes restoration? Ça qui vient avant restauration. Is a point in time. C'est un moment called snapping out of it. Qui relève ou sortit dans ça. A moment when you yourself don't Le, need to be told by the pastor. Ou même ou même ou pas besoin de te pasteur qui dit ou ça. A moment where you yourself realize. Un moment que ou même pour peut-être pas and, réaliser. And, and recognize that the place that you're in. Ou reconnaître que côté où il est. Is a place where you do not belong. Ce côté où pas doué il est. A moment in time where you realize that you deserve better. Il y a un moment que ou reconnaître que ou a moment in time moment when you recognize that your lifestyle you realize que mode de vie does not coincide with the place that God has called you to be in. Il va marcher avec côté bon Dieu répète. Come on, somebody look at your neighbor and say snap out of it. Quand on peut dire exactement. Come on, pull them out by the spirit and say snap out of it. Levez, 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 levez. Come on, type this in the comments and say snap out of it. Si on peut lever, ressortir. Come on, I say look to the left or to the right and you tell them snap out of it. Quand on peut accrocher à droite, il levez. Come on, you don't need to know where they are. Vous devez connaître côté hier. You don't need to know what situations they're in. I said look to the person to the left or to the Right if you don't snap out of it. Snap out of it. Reveal. What precedes his restoration? Sa qui vini avant restauration. It's a moment of time. Son moment en temps. Called snapping out of it. Côté li reconnaît côté li. Where in this time he says to himself. Le moment ça li dit à tête li. That it literally makes no sense. Uh, li pa li te li pa fait sens. That I'm hungry. When I live in a house that's full of food, oh my God! it doesn't make sense for me to be out here hungry, where the servants that are, that are cleaning my dad's house, they have so much food that they have, an, that they have, that, that they have an abundance to spare. He literally says to himself after this point that I'm gonna go home to my daddy. Oh my God, and I'm gonna tell him, and I'm gonna tell him, Father, I've sinned against you, and I'm no longer worthy of being called your son. So, Father, please, because I'm no longer worthy of being called your son, I at least want to be called a servant. Revelation. It's more a, a, a significance to be called a son or a servant in the house of God than to be a slave in the world. Than to be a slave in the world. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm going to say it again. I said it's more significant to be, co- to be called a slave, to be called a servant in the house of God. Than to be called a slave in the world. Anybody want to be a servant in this house? Oh my God. Anybody want to be a servant? Oh, come on, in a culture. In a culture no, where people only chase microphones. Oh my God, I'm gonna go there. In a culture no, where people only choose to, to run to highlights and services. The reality is, I don't care for this. As long as I'm called a servant in his house. Ah, as long as I'm called a servant in his house. Are there any servants in the room? Oh my God, I can't feel you on that side. Are there any servants in the room? Ah, are there any servants in the room? Are there any servants in the room? I said, are there any servants in the room? He recognizes that. 
I'd rather be called a servant in my dad's house. Than to be out here slaving in the world hungry. Have you seen you making me nervous? Nous, nous faisons vraiment Nous making me nervous. 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 He says he's going to tell his dad. He says to himself he's going to tell his dad. I'm not qualified to be your son. Moi pas qualifié pour petit garçon. Revelation number two in the same scripture. Deuxième révélation dans même écriture. This is not one of my main points. C'est pas you notre point principal moi. But I feel the Holy Ghost leading me here. Another thing that stops us from receiving restoration. Y a lot bagay qui rete nous pour nous pas joindre restauration. It's the fact that we disqualify ourselves from receiving restoration. Le fait que nous déqualifier peut-être pas nous. Oh my God! Somebody lift your hands in the room. Come on! I want to prophesy. I want, I want to declare this over you. Come on! Lift your hands. I declare and decree. That every spirit of self condemnation will die by fire. Que tout esprit de condamnation a pas mourir par du feu. I said I declare a decree. Moi déclarer, moi décréter. That every spirit of self condemnation. Que tout esprit de condamnation. Every spirit of self sabotage in the spirit. Tout esprit de sabotage dans l'esprit. Oh my God, will die right now. Oh my God, I command you to get out of the room. I'm a son. I'm a son. I said, leave my life. Leave her life. She's a daughter. Come on, I said, I declare that every spirit of self condemnation that's causing us to disqualify ourselves, I command you to die, 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 die. Come on, somebody lift your hands and say, I'm qualified. I can't hear you in the room. I said, somebody lift your hands and say, I'm qualified. Oh, yes. I said, somebody lift your hands and say, I'm qualified. Oh, yes. Come on, say it. Declare it. Say, I'm qualified. Say, I'm qualified. I'm qualified. I'm qualified. There's nothing you can say about it. I'm qualified. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh my God. I said, lift your hands and say, I'm qualified. I'm qualified. Oh God. He arose and he arose and went to his father's house. And, and the Bible says that while he's still a long way off, his father saw him coming down the road. Which is evidence to allow me to suggest that his father was actually outside waiting for his son to return. Oh, because there's a part of the father that knew. Oh, I know that you left. Oh, but I know that eventually you'll come to your senses. Oh my God, can I encourage a mother in the audience? I want to encourage a father in the audience. You, you may feel like you're losing control of your son or daughter. But the reality is, no matter where the son is, a son is a son ah, it doesn't matter where your daughter is a daughter remains a daughter if that means that eventually come what may they're going to come to themselves and they're going to come back home oh my god oh my god don't lose hope don't lose hope it may seem hopeless. Mais déclaré à soi à donner nos deux saisies. Puis si garçon là qui peut tenir la caille, attendez. Puis si fille là qui peut tenir la caille, attendez. Comment les vieux aussi de lever mes du mot recevoir. If you do receive, lift up your hand and say I receive it. He goes to 
His father, his dad sees him a far way off. And the Bible says, Oh my God. That contrary to what he thought would have happened, his dad is not angry. His dad does not suck his teeth, roll his eyes, and run into the house. But the Bible says, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he feels compassion. compassion. Oh my God, so much so. That the son does not run to his daddy. But his daddy runs to him. Papa, petit garçon. He doesn't go and meet his dad. C'est pas lui même qui a rencontré papa. But his dad goes and meets him. Papa allait la rencontrer. His dad embraces him. Papa lui embrasse. Now please remember. Please remember. Et pour songer, s'il vous t'en prie songer. That this son spends time in a pig pen. Que petit garçon ça t'es passé tant dans un pas. Which means that his son is dirty. That his son is filthy. But even with the dirty clothes, even with the stench of pigs, that his dad does not just run to meet him. But the Bible says that his dad runs to him. That he embraces his son. And he doesn't stop there. But he kisses his son. With the filth. With the dirt. And I'm here to let somebody know. It doesn't matter how far you've gone. It doesn't matter how low you've been. That tonight the Father is waiting for you. And he's not waiting for you to greet you from afar. But he's waiting for you to run to you and meet you. But he's not going to stop it. But he wants to hold you. And embrace you even in your state. Hallelujah. Hold on. And I want to kill this demon right now. I want to kill this demon. The demon that makes you think that in order to come to Jesus that you got to clean up first. The devil is, the devil is a liar. From the pulpit to the pew. From the pulpit to the pew. We do not need to clean up before we come to him. And, and in fact, he wants us while we're dirty. So that no one can take the credit for the cleaning up. So, so, so that no pastor can take the credit. So that no dumb missionary can take the credit. So that, so that no metric can take the credit. So that even you yourself can't take the credit. Oh my God, he wants you while you're filthy. Come on, he wants you with the marijuana scent. He wants you with the smell of alcohol. Oh my God, yes. He wants you while you smell like sex. Come on here. Oh yes, he wants you with the lust. He Yes, and when you come to him, you don't have to clean yourself up because he's going to do it. The father embraces him. Oh my God, I got to go. He embraces him. He kisses him. He bowl. But he doesn't stop there. You remember what he said he was going to tell his father. He's rehearsing his lines. And when he gets to his father, he begins to tell his father what he rehearsed. He starts to tell his father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. 
He started to say, I'm not worthy enough to be your son. But Jesus stops telling the story right there. Because the father does not even give him a chance to finish his statement. Uh, the, the father doesn't even address his son. But he addresses his servants. Oh my God, to, br to bring out the best robe. Oh my, oh my God, to cover him. And to clothe his nakedness. Oh my, I'm talking about the nakedness that we learned from Genesis. In the Garden of Eden is a mark of sin. So what this is saying right here. That number one. After the father restores you to himself. The second thing that he does. Is forgives your sins. I said number one. He restores you to himself. Numéro un, il restaure à lui-même. He hugged the son, he kissed the son. Il embrassé, il baisé. So he didn't just thrust him back into the house. Il pas seulement fourré l'un dans qu'il a encore. Contrary to popular belief. When you fall from grace, the first place that you come to, premier par côté au vini, is not the pulpit. C'est pas devant chair. The first place that you go to is not back to this. But the first place that the Lord restores you to. Be because many people think that restoration looks like being put back on the stage. And, and that is not. And that is not reality. Because the first place that the father restores his son to. It's not a stage or a church. But the first place that the father restores his son to. It's back to himself. Too many people want to be restored to a pulpit. Too many people want to be restored to a stage. Too many people want to be restored to a church family. But there's not enough people who want to be restored back to the Father. Is, is there anybody in the room that doesn't care for the microphone? That doesn't care for the stage. That doesn't care. That doesn't care for the pulpit. That doesn't even care about public opinion. But the first place that I want to be restored to, beyond my pastor, beyond this microphone, beyond this stage, the first place that I want to be restored to. It's back to my father. Anybody want to be restored to the father? Shout yeah! The father restores the son to himself. Number one. Papa restore petit garçon à lui-même numéro un. Number two. Numéro deux. The father covers his nakedness. Papa couvre nudité. The nakedness that we learn. Nudité que Dieu prend. In the book of Genesis. Dans le livre Genèse là. That is a mark of sin. Qui c'est un mark de péché. Because once Adam and Eve sinned. Parce que depuis Adam et Eve t'es péché. They realized that they were naked. Ils ont réalisé que ils étaient tout unis. Which means that they never received the revelation of nakedness. Ça veut dire que ils ont pas jamais reçu la révélation de nudité. Until they fell from grace. Pour jusqu'à ce que ils ont été tombés. Or until they sinned. Ou bien là ils ont été péché. Which means once again. Ça veut dire que that nakedness. It's a mark of sin. So he covers his sin, or in other words, he forgives his son. That means that he covers his sin, or in other words, he forgives his son. 
Il pardonne les petits garçons. But he doesn't stop there. He tells his servant to put a ring on the hand of his son. Where rings are not just a sign of commitment or covenant. De, et, yon contrat, ou bien yon alliance. But back in the Bible days, rings yon, yon bag were also signs of authority. Yon signe d'autorité. So what he's saying there Donc ça l'a dit que is not only is my son forgiven, pas seulement p- et puis moi pardonné, not only is my son restored back to me, pas seulement moi restauré là moi même, but my son now has authority in my house. Mais qu'on y a petit garçon moi gain autorité oh dans caï moi. Yes, hear me in the spirit. I said before the father restores you to uh, uh, that, back to your place in the house. He, restore, he restores you to himself. He restores you uh, uh, by forgiving your sins. And then he restores your authority or puts you back in your rightful place. But, but hear me, this ring was not just a sign. That he was an authority figure. But the ring was a sign of the fact that if he's an authority, if he's an authority figure in the house, it's only because the owner of his house, of this house is his dad. Or in other words, the servants who work in my dad's house can't tell me what to do. Because I'm not a slave anymore. I'm a son. He restores sonship. Close him with a robe. He puts a ring on, ring on his finger. Li habillel avec robe là. Li mette bag là dans doigt li. And he puts shoes on his feet. Li mette souliers dans pied. The sandals that were put on his feet. Et sandales qu'il mette dans pied là. Were also a mark of sonship. Que c'est yon mark de relation papa petit. Because back in this time. Parce que dans temps ça. Whenever they would take slaves into captivity. N'importe là yon te prend esclaves en captivité. What they would do is take the, sh- the sandals or the shoes off of the slaves' feet so they can't run away. Ça yon te qu'on fait yon te qu'on prend souliers ou bien sandales dans pied esclaves là pour le pas capable de sauver. Which lets me know. Ça fait me if the father has to put shoes on his son's feet. Si papa doit mettre souliers dans pied petit là. That's because his son wasn't just a son. Ça veut dire que c'est parce que petit là pas seulement un petit garçon. But he was a runaway slave. Mais il était un esclave qui était sauvé. Oh my goodness. So he forgives him. Donc il pardonne. He marks him with sonship. Il marque avec relation petit garçon. He also removes the mark of slavery by putting sandals on his feet. Il aussi oh retire marque esclavage oh là yes, à travers mettel de mettre souliers oh yes, à pied là. Oh yes, Lord, but just one more thing happens. Il y a un lot bagage qui arrive encore. And, and after this I'm done, I promise. Après ça fini promet tout ça. Verse number 25. Verse 75. He says now his Older son was in the field. Li di kounye ya petit garçon en sac de pi grand té dehors dans champ. And as he came and drew near to the house. Pendant la il t'a approché vini bokay la. He heard music and dancing. Il était dans des musiques avec danser. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. Li relé you nan bon yo li mande ki sa sa vle di la. And the servant says to the brother. Et bon nan di a frère. Your brother has come. Your brother has returned. And your father has killed the fattened calf. Et papa Because he has received him back safe and sound. 
parce que les gens ni sains ni saufs. And instead of celebrating the fact that his brother was safe, et au lieu de célébrer le fait que les frères l'a été en sécurité, instead of celebrating the fact that his brother who was lost was now found, et qu'au au lieu de célébrer le fait que les frères l'a qui était perdu a eu joindi, verse number 28 says, verse 28 l'a dit, the brother was angry. Frère fâché. And he refused to go in and partake in the party. Lui refusait pour te entrer dans fête là. Here it is. Mais my last point. Dernier point moi. If you're going to be restored. Sou à restaurer. You must be delivered from the opinions of people. Faut ou délivrer de opinion moun. I'm going to say it again. Ma dit encore. If you're going to truly be restored. Sou à vraiment restaurer. You must be delivered. Fuck who delivered from the opinions of people. The opinion moon. And hear me in the Holy Ghost. This word that I just said. Paul que fait so dia. It's not just for the son. Li pas seulement petit garçon. But it's also a word to the fathers. Mais li c'est yon mot à papa et papa yo. Because fathers hear me in the Holy Ghost. Parce que papa yo. You must understand. Fuck who comprend. That not everyone wants your sons to be restored or reconciled back to you. Et tout le monde qui veut que petit garçon le restaure. Et si ou égaré. Je nous même nous même même avec. If you're crazy. If you're not thinking, you as a father, you même comme petit yon papa, will listen to the ones who are angry at the fact that your son is restored. And out of and out of and out of ignorance, you will keep your son out of the house. This, this word is not just for the sons, but it's also for the fathers. When your son comes back. Let him come back. When your daughter tries to return home, don't leave her out. But bring her back in. Because a son remains a son. So it's not just for the fa- not, not just for the sons. Donc c'est pas seulement pour petit garçon. But it's also a word for the fathers. Mais c'est une parole pour et papa. And it's not just a word for the fathers. Il pas seulement un mot pour papa yo. But it's also a word to the sons. Mais c'est un mot pour petit garçon yo. And this word is telling me to tell the sons this. Et parole la dit moi pour dire petit garçon yo ça. Through the uh, attitude of the son, the prodigal son. À travers attitude, l'enfant prodigue. Là. There's one thing that screams or jumps out of the text for me. Yon bagay ki vreman nou remake nan text la. Don't you realize? Est-ce qu'on va réaliser? That the son never comes out to address his brother? Que petit gasson a pa jam vini pou l'adresse frel. Y'all don't read the Bible like me. Nou pa li bib la tako. Y- y'all, don't, y'all don't read the Bible like me. Listen, the dad, the dad was inside of the house. The father was in the house. In the party too. And if the father is excited about his son returning, et papa t'est excité le fait que petit garçon a retourné. That means that the father is not too far from his son. Ça veut dire que papa pas trop loin petit garçon. So that allows me to insert this here. Donc ça permet moi pour capable fourrer ça là. That when the servant goes and tells the dad what's going on outside. Le bon a dit il papa ça a fait en dehors. The son, the prodigal son hears it but he never goes outside to address it listen to your brother in the Holy Ghost never again address someone who's upset at your restoration restoration It would have been a waste of time, sis. Because the prodigal son would have literally have to leave the party. You would have had to leave the celebration where he was the guest of honor. Imagine coming down or stepping out leaving a party for you to go and address what people are saying about you. I want to tell somebody tonight don't you ever again 
Leave what God is doing for you. To go and address what people are saying about you. If they're talking about you, hear me in the Holy Ghost. Let them talk. Oh my God, because you're talking about me while I'm inside. But I, oh my God, but you're outside. Oh my God, I heard somebody say this. I heard Pastor or Minister Chris Brown say this. How are you going to hate from outside the club? When you can't even get it? You can't even get in. Oh my God. How are you going to hate from outside the club? When you can't even get in? Don't you ever again step out of what the Lord has done for you to address what people are saying about you. If they're talking, let them talk. Because the best part is, is right here. Not only does he not go outside to address the other son, but, but he lets his father step out to speak for him anybody need the Lord to speak for them oh my God so go oh yes I'm done right here come on everybody stand to your feet come on everybody rise come on I feel this in the Holy Ghost oh my God does anybody need him to speak tonight oh my God does anybody need the Lord to defend them tonight oh yes oh anybody need him to speak on their behalf no parle toute l'éternité envahi. Come on. Avec louange de Jésus. No parle toute l'éternité envahi. Avec louange de Jésus. Le Seigneur va let it tell you Oh, yeah! Come on! Avec louange, avec louange, de Tonight I sense. Tonight I sense. That we have people in the room who have been busy addressing what people are saying or addressing how people feel about what God has done in their lives in, instead of actually enjoying what God has done in their lives. And we've literally made the opinions of people become idols because we place them above the thought process of God. We're going to do a few things right here.